DuckTales, Season 3, Episode 18, How Santa Stole Christmas. <laughs> I think they got their mythos a little skewy there. Eh, DuckTale but Universe. Still it was still a fun little story. Oh, it was. I love the fact that, uh, that Scrooge kind of was almost Krampus. Almost. Um, and it's it's nice to realize that, like, oh no, coal isn't supposed to be for like bad children. It's just more useful. Actually, the original um, the the original thing was he did give kids coal for Christmas to warm them up, just like they just like that. That, that was a genuine um. That was one of the genuine things. Before it turned into giving kids toys, it was giving them coal to keep them warm. And I think Santa Claus is uh, missing some reindeer. Well, I mean, he was getting hungry. He is a polar bear. That is true. That is true. And uh, I'm glad to see Frosty the Snowman's doing well. Not anymore. Yeah, that's true. He was doing well. <laughs> uh, and of course, my favorite line from uh, this episode was, Well, I've never crashed a reindeer before, and you never will. <laughs> no, my favorite line was, Oh, I just watched it. Um, The one Webby said... Uh, she oh, said she had, a lot of good lines. I know. She had so many good ones. But there was one when she was in the sleigh and she was sassing to Santa. Uh, I can't remember it now. It'll come back to me and I'll be like, oh yeah. It's like you're just, just sleeping. It's like, <gasps> I remember now. Fuck. Yeah, that that's how it works. <laughs> hmm. You know, I could I could use a a magical diamond shiny thing that slow down time. The um. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navi Diamond. Feliz Navi Diamond. Sorry. Yes. Which uh, I I I kind of have a theory from I have a theory from that um. I I think it's magic works year round, and my reason being is because uh, how long twenty twenty has lasted? No, not that. Um, well, actually, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> because uh, polar Santa's probably really old. As an older yeah. than he should be, so I'm thinking that the uh, diamond is kind of prolonging his life. Yeah. Just slowly and unnoticeable. It's like, yeah. damn, I should be dead by now. Probably also the reindeer's lives too. Yeah, unless they're like third, fourth generation. No, oh, that's true. <laughs> I read a um a meme recently. It's like Santa. I like to name my reindeer after uh things that I associate with them. It's like dance uh dancer and prancer dancing and prancing around in the uh snow. Aww. All nice and neat. And why is uh hold on, let me look. I know I know I have this right around here. Uh Wow, they post a lot of memes. Uh
Oh, here we go. Kid, Santa, what's the story of your reindeer's names? Santa, why, I named them after memories, like Prancer frolicking through the snow. Kid, what about Donner? A dark countenance settles on Santa's face. Santa, the year was 1847. Snowfall had trapped us in the Sierra Nevada. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear God, why? <laughs> That's just wrong. And not as well, wrong... Even... Although not as strong as Scrooge uh, replacing all the toys with coal with an invoice. I know. He... Although well, I'm... Penny, I kind of wanted to put that killer killer snowman in my yard. Me too. Although, but my mom won't let me. I I do wonder something though. Uh, Scrooge, where were you keeping all that coal? You don't want to know. It's like I don't think he was hiding it with all the presents. I mean, Santa probably would have noticed. Okay. Did you not notice? Scrooge is a Time Lord. That is true. He has a dimensionally transcendental sack. And not in the way Goldie likes. This is true. <laughs> this is very, very true. <laughs> it's like... Here, here's a piece of coal. Yay, Dolly, now let me burn it. <laughs> I used to burn my Barbies. And shave their heads and oh, dissect them. You are, and mutilate them. Huh? You are so terrible and horrific. Who am I kidding? I put firecrackers down their throats. You can't. They Barbies don't have throats. Well, you kind of. Do you mean you popped off their head and put it in their heads? No, I kind of popped their head and took a pair of scissors and like cut it off till uh, the chest cavity. Oh, that that's hard for most Barbies. Those are hard plastic. Yeah. I used to, have to use a knife to dissect mine. Yeah. Well, when you don't have neighbors for miles around, uh, you get bored. No, you see, what I did is. I had neighbors. I lived in an apartment building. But we had a, one of those little grills. And, um, you know, those little portable grills. And so I took some uh, I took a Barbie and I stuck it to a stick, tied her to a stick. And I held a little witch trial. And I set her on fire. So what you're trying to say is um, you cook some Barbies on the Barbie? I put the dolly on the Barbie. <laughs> oh dear God, we are, we are horrible children. <sighs> so, I mean, I also um, melted the stomach of one of my sister's My Little Pony dolls and filled it with bugs and melted it closed so that while she was playing with it, the bugs popped out. You were evil. Uh, anyway, um. <laughs> uh, apparently oh delivering God. presents to all the good children is better than beating Santa Claus with a bat. Also, did you notice either Lena is now living with uh, Violet or they were having a Christmas slumber party? Oh, and I love the little kiss that she gave her. It's like, Mwah. I know. She gave them both a little kiss. Because they're her best friends. I mean, to to be fair, does Lena have a home? No, she doesn't. She she was living in that um thing. Yeah. So and she... so, I would not be surprised if um if Violet's dad's adopted her. Yeah, she's like, uh, you live with us now. Yeah. I would not doubt it, especially considering how supportive her dads are. I know, right? So I, nice. I would not doubt at all that they'd be like, they'd both be like, "I, you're you're staying with us now." 
Oh, so nice. You are an official state <laughs> Uh, this episode also, uh, again, made me realize that, um, it's like, you think Scrooge is like, oh, yeah, damn, he's, he's pretty old. And it's like, oh, damn, he's even older. Yeah. <laughs> no, you see, like, see, like, their version of the Bible times, you see, like, no, uh, Moses, like, holding the the tablets, and you see, like, Scrooge behind him. Like, damn, Scrooge. No, because we saw in one of the earlier episodes he was born in the 1800s. That's why I said this episode's timeline is a bit skewy. Eh, I mean, this, it, it does have time travel. I mean, the show does in general. True. But uh, it's still a little too wibbly wobbly playing fast and loose with uh, the mythos of Christmas. Mm, true. Oh, I love it's like, oh, I, I, I go alphabetical order. Why don't you go by city? Oh, oh that make more sense. Yeah. <laughs> you ever think you ever think Santa when he was like first like started out delivering presents was like this? Shit, did I already do this house? No, because that I don't think that's how he originally was. I think he originally was more of a back alley type because <laughs> Christmas was for a long while illegal. Oh, I, I was talking on the DuckTail universe. Oh, the DuckTail universe. Yeah. Maybe. No, because he goes alphabetical, so... Oh, yeah. Although, that would be kind of a bitch unless he goes alphabetically by last name. Yeah, even although, still. even then, even then, <gasps> if you have families with multiple names... You'd go to the same house, like, three times. Like, my nephew has his dad's last name. So, they would go, and his last name is a different letter of the alphabet than ours. So, you'd go to, from our house to another house, and then back to our house for his. If you were going in that fashion. Yeah, uh, your comment made me think of something. It's like, you know, back, back alley presents. It's like, hey, 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 kid. Hey, hey, kid. Want a present? Is that a co-hanger? <laughs> like, uh, no, no, kid. Uh, use your imagination. It can be anything. I'm still trying to remember what that line was. I know I should have taken notes. She had so many good lines this one. I loved how I loved her snark and how she kept sassing. Oh my gosh, and then the present. I love how she's able to figure out the present just by shaking it. And she's like, you can't get me with a... Is that a crossbow with titanium bolts? Who's this for? Look at this... Wabigail Vandercrack? Me, I mean, no, I'm not excited. <laughs> and what she got excited over? A weapon to kill things. I know, right? I'm not Webby. I mean, if you want to pop over real, real quick and, and find the line in the episode, you're free to. Okay. Or probably just, like, look at the transcript. 
Do you have? I, I would need a link to the transcript. Eh, one second. I'll see if I can find it. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. DuckTales. Season 3, episode 18. Yeah, no. So the 18 transcript. Uh, other tells. That's uh, it's too recent. Uh, wait. Ugh. There's currently no text in this page. Yeah, no transcript yet. Well, that sucks. Damn. Like, I do not trust you, you fat and jolly bastard. Speaking of DuckTales, I have the live action outside my window. And why we will wait, ladies and gentlemen, I am the man of your life.
I think. Yes. Did we find it? No. Damn it, really? Really. After all that time. I know. Eh, it'll come to you. <laughs> yeah. I'll rewatch it later. Like, properly rewatch it. So Because you... I was just skimming through it. Uh, so... You, you vaguely know where it is, just not the exact spot. Yeah. I know it was when they were in the... In the sleigh. I just don't remember exactly where. Yeah. Ugh. Do you celebrate Christmas, or is it just, like, another day? Um, my family usually celebrates Festivus. Just because we are non... We used to, like, do a giant uh, family get-together, and by giant, I mean, like, over 50 people, because... I have a shit ton of second cousins and uh, instead of like just we did gifts but we just did like um, we either did one of two things we either did a uh, white elephant Christmas party or we I think I, I forget the name of the game I'm just gonna call it like the left and right game like, I don't know what that is. Either of those things. It's so. White elephant is um. Pregnancy. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> no. You knock up your second cousin. Well, you are American. <laughs> no, it's um you. Ooh. Everybody buys like a present, right? Okay. They just buy like one present the present isn't for anybody and you just all pile the presents like in the middle of a giant pile mm -hmm. one at a time you go and just choose like a random present and you just you just open the present now you don't always get to keep the present because you have a choice instead of going to the pile and taking a present, you can steal a present from somebody else. Huh? Yeah, it's a fun game. Wait, so you each, so you steal the presents and you steal more presents? No, no, no. So, so okay, let's say the first person goes and opens a present, okay? Mm -hmm. And let's say the presents like a new game system which is usually not because it's cheap presents but let's say it is the second person can either choose to go to the pile and choose a present out for themselves or still the first person's present ah the thing is though a present can only be stolen twice mm-hmm but yeah and the I don't remember the real name, but the left and right game is you're in a giant circle, you have a present, somebody reads a story, and each time the story says left, you pass the presents left, each time it says right, you pass it right, and at the end of the story, you open whatever present you have. Ah. Interesting. Yeah. See, my families were never <laughs> that big. I mean, they're pretty big. They're too big for me. But at least my mom's side. But then they're also crazy. I mean, really, really crazy. I mean, tinfoil hat, conspiracy theories, 5G causes COVID. COVID is a co conspiracy by oh, the government. Dear Mind God. Thing. Yeah, yeah. That's my mom's side. Oh, oh my. They're trying to force you to get vaccinated. To um. <laughs> Well, oh, one second. Uh, so couldn't find the line. I got nothing more to say on the episode. Oh, uh, no, I couldn't think of the line. 
Yeah. I will think of it later and I'll send it in the chat. <laughs> that is that is DuckTales and there's another episode, right? There will be more next I mean there will be more after the holidays. Yes. They're on the holiday break. Oh, that's always fun. My only guess why DuckTales was is being cancelled is because it probably wasn't selling toys. Maybe. Yeah. That would suck. Well, goodbye, DuckTales. Until next week. <laughs>